The baby is good. <laughs> she's she's kicking. Oh, a baby. Who knows? I don't know. What would you name the baby? Natalie. Grenade. Our um our last ship writer, Gary Brown, asked me to ask you why your character is not named Trent DeMarco. Jesus, I know it should be right. I've named that in every other thing I've done. Um, yes, Hank. <laughs> uh, maybe we can change it. Maybe maybe Trent can be my middle name. <laughs> Lieutenant Danny Trent, the free Marco. And Marissa, you have a degree in math and thought about becoming an engineer. How does that impact because being in the Navy and your your part in it is a you know a technical area, how does that your personal background affect what you bring to the show? Well, I think I'm, I'm uh, very detail-oriented, I know. <laughs> um, and there's an organization to math that I, I just, um, has always seemed to click, and with my brain. And so it's not surprising to me that one of the first roles that I've worked in this world, um, but that I, that I, it was a character who leans on that. Who leans on her ability to organize and um, be methodical and be, very direct um, and uh, very detail oriented. So, yeah. yeah, that was my first love. <laughs> so, between the two of you, who did better in the Navy training? <laughs> <laughs> I had about six hours to hop on a plane when I was, was given the role um, so that I could shoot the next day. I, 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 I was winging from the beginning. I threw, my, I, was, I threw myself in. I was so excited just to have a gun in my hand and have someone helping me out with all the different moves and the strategies and, and all the different formations. Like I was, I threw myself in. It was a lot of fun. And it's still fun. So we're learning every day that we're on set. So every new day that we're there, I learn usually something new. I refine um, a lot of my skill sets every day. So, well, you have to have people working with you, right? Every day. Yeah. Like Navy SEALs. Yeah. Yeah. Navy SEALs and a lot of uh, real Navy personnel that's there. I just hope that I can emulate them in a way where they would go, oh yeah, he could be in the Navy. There's no way that I could ever do what they do. And we have to like, tip our hats to them for, for being in the service the way that they are. But to be able to play them on TV, I want to represent them in, in a positive light. So um, I usually listen to everything that the Navy SEALs are on set have to say. I'm, I usually have them repeat themselves. So I just really want to get it right for them. Because it's like even the way you hold the weapon and stuff like that, like somebody who's been in the Navy or whatever could watch the show and say, Yeah, and they do. People watch the show specifically so they can cut it down. Find it. So our job is to go, okay, if you want to do that, you're not going to find it. And even down to the way you give an order, I'll ask them to repeat themselves because, you know, okay, oh, okay, it's not that, I would never say it that slowly or, you know, that, that there's just a certain, um, when you when you are living it day in and day out, that you just, yeah, you say it differently or you do things differently. So I'm always asking the most minute questions I can, going back to the whole math girl thing. Um, would you push this button with your right hand, with this finger? <laughs> Is it up on the right hand, like upper corner? Corner of the screen, or is it on the lower right corner of the screen? I mean, it's down to the team. We want to get it right. So, but I did have to play a bit of catch up because I was I came on board with the show quite late. Um, so I had to play a little bit of catch up. And the funny thing is, the character that was originally cast as uh, Lieutenant Foster, she got pregnant in real life. So they had to recast her. And your, <laughs> anyway. And then my character Amelia got pregnant. When you recently been in the Summer Comedy Series, what's it like to transition into a tough guy series? Oh my god, I love it. This, this is such an intense show. Um, so to be able to jump in and do comedies and to really play the other side of it is a relief. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, Are you finding yourself every time the producer? Oh, that's why you mess up a little bit. Yeah, so and actually, that's something that we worked on for season two because the way that I was, my character was written in season one, I went, I took the brunt of the emotional. Uh, I got hit hard. My character didn't know how to deal with everything that was happening. So if you see in season one, my emotional IQ was like a zero. Like I had the emotional intelligence of like a cereal box. Um, 
So as season two has gone on, it's, I feel like we've started to add some more of the humor and lightheartedness and more of that bravado. That's, that's, um, it just adds another color. So yeah, the season, there's a lot more of that. And I think as the seasons go on, there will be more. Okay. Do you also do you like more romance? Pardon? Do you like more romance? More oh, I... More romantic scene. <laughs> yeah, you guys gonna finally define this thing. <laughs> I know, right? We TTR. To. TTR talk. No. We need to. I mean, right now it's it's yeah, I feel like it's we're we're still figuring out what this is because the world is we've got this big mission, we gotta we gotta do what we can to help the world out, but we've got this whole situation going on. We're also trying to get to the world. I mean there's a lot happening, so to define this relationship I think is not the most important right. thing, but I think eventually we're going to have to figure it out. Can you talk a little more about the, how the season goes on? Is there going to be like, are you going to be in peril again? Do <laughs> <Things, laughs> you make it off the ship again or anything you can get? I'm trying to think of what we can say. Yes. Um, well, things progress. <laughs> We get, we get in heavy situations that, that get really intense, that might rip us apart, and we have to figure out how to stay together, yeah. the, knowing that mission is first. Yeah, things come up again. Yep. Some, some, maybe some kisses. I keep pushing for a shower scene with us, but they don't give it. <laughs> I really want that. Like, we're not even dating. She's, maybe she's, we just like, she's in love with someone else, but just for fun. <laughs> Will we see you with the pillow? Stuffing your pillow? Things progress, yeah. <laughs> I was just telling you there, I, my, I called my mom and I went, ah! <laughs> when things progress, so. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, try carrying the real thing around. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so far, I mean, I feel like someone already mentioned it's, it's, it's a little bit darker this season. The, the villains are, they seem more real this year. And I, I think, you know, there's a lot of. Uh, I, feel like the, I feel like the action just got so much better and bigger this year, but it's more grounded with our character dynamics. So for me, I just feel like I feel like they're going to go on a more more emotional ride in this year. And what does it mean for you as an actor and actress to be one of those guys for that Larger than life. You do feel like you are on a movie set every day that you come to work. So you know, you know, it, it's it's nice to be a part of a um, production that you know that the man at the helm of it is is um, a stellar guy to run the show. You, really. Michael Bay has connections. We've gotten to film on real Navy ships. We've gotten to be on real helicopters. We've gotten to be on real Hummers. We, we, we have real weapons. We, it's, everything is so legit because of who Michael Bay is and what he stands for and his connections with the Navy and, and how he really represents the military. He really does a great job of portraying the heart of the military. And I think uh, I'm, I'm just grateful to work with him again. And, and, and do you think his name means that you're going to have more job security meaning to show Any time. Any time you're attached to with Michael Bay, it's, it's going to be it's a, a good thing. thing. It's, it's, it's a very well-respected name. And, you know, he's a really, really brilliant man and he knows what he's doing and I'm, I'm happy to, to call him our captain. Thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Does everybody have a good sea log? I think so, yes. Um, for the most, there's been a couple days where we were out there all day, but I think for the most part, everyone's pretty good. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Adam. How do you just see her in civilian?